Hey guys, and welcome back to Them and Us. Haha! -ha. Let us finally finish the game and at least get one of the endings. Uh, let's take the Mac ammo as well. I think we'll be good with this. Let's ride. I was gonna do a little bit off camera and just drop the, um, what do you call it, the, the stone in and come back and get some extra health and things, but I think we're good, to be honest. We have plenty of equipment. And I see the limited edition 30th anniversary uh, PlayStation Pro has gone for sale today and instantly sold out. There's a shock. <laughs> They're already on eBay for like six grand. Oh, good Lord. Uh, I would have been tempted, but it's one of those, oh, I don't know, a thousand pounds for a console. I mean, I, it'd look nice on the shelf, but come on, a thousand pounds for a console. Eesh. Anyway, the elevator seems to be working now. Let's use it. to hurt the sweet Vestra girl, would you? Is she not the reason why we came here today? <laughs> <gasps> no, it can't be. Who would have thunk that was her daughter? Shocking, right? Nine years earlier, somewhere in Misty Valley. Police said we're desperate. The doctors have no idea what's wrong with her. We heard you practice some kind of spiritual medicine. She's so sick. You have to help her. <laughs> Sound design is so on point. It's so good. Wednesday, March 7th. Somewhere near Alfred Town. Rejoice, my fellow flock. For we have found her. The lamb with the mark of the Supreme One. She who has the blood of the architect in her veins. We shall begin preparations immediately. The eclipse will be upon us soon. Two days later. Not really sure how they heard that. Over the engine sounds with the uh, windows rolled up. Oh shit. He's armed. Ma'am, put the weapons down. Let me see those hands. Weapon down. Will only 
So. She killed her husband, I guess. And her daughter, which I suppose is how he took control of them using his funky magic. Unless that was just an illusion, I'm not really sure. And here comes their god. Bit of an ugly bastard, if I'm being honest with you. But that's fine. Alright, so we've got seven minutes to kill this guy. Otherwise, uh, if the timer runs out, apparently we just instantly die. And he has these really uh, powerful area of effect attacks. But he's not too bad, honestly. He is going to summon minions. But once he summoned the minions, he has a little bit of a nap. And he's going to turn himself vulnerable. Just for us. But that's okay. Because we can just wail on him for quite a while with our explosive weaponry. And then he's going to turn back invulnerable again. Uh, yeah. I mean, that, that's, <laughs> yep. Okay, we've already got him down into critical damage. That's fun. Uh, yeah, the ammo and pickups around this area are absolute rubbish. Curiously enough. Anywho, let's go get the magical MacGuffin rocket launcher thing. Get rid of these guys. We really don't need to trifle with them too much. There we go. And I believe that healing item is just like a crappy little small bandage. But we cannot pick that up because we have handgun bullets. Uh, let's leave that then. And grab our cannon of hope, which looks incredibly fancy. Uh, a weapon powerful enough to kill anything, even a god. Not really sure how we got hold of that, but all we've got to do is aim, click, and he's dead. Go back to hell. <laughs> Some weird crystal weapon. Yeah, not much of a god, huh? Those animations. Fools. Fools. If we could change the world. Woulda, coulda, shoulda, buddy. The husband, right? I guess. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. Right, this is where we have a choice, guys. I didn't realize we could just hold on. We can go back, or we can carry on. If we go that way, we can get the good ending, or we can go back and uh, carry on to get the best ending of the game. Um, I haven't really decided. You know what? Let's just go get the good ending because that's one ending down then. Now, this ending that's about to play is going to be the uh, ending that I got when I randomly loaded the game. 
and then what we will do we will uh, I'll do this off camera and we'll probably wrap up with some kind of bonus um, of all the endings however I think there is still a little bit of game left after this if you if you're not sure but um, we'll see we'll, um, yeah okay let's just get the good ending for now So this is ending two. Yeah, this is the one that played when I loaded my game. I don't know why this ending played, but there we go. Yeah, that seems incredibly dumb, to be honest. <laughs> you want to try flying this thing? I know you have no experience in a helicopter. You know, a, a, a machine that is notoriously complex and difficult to control. But hey, that's fine, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess maybe they didn't get out of there. Uh, <laughs> that would be a brilliant ending um, if Alicia just destroyed the bloody helicopter on the way back. So anyway, Alicia gets her daughter back, even though she's um, a really powerful kind of, I don't know, witch-type entity at this point. Uh, but but that's, that's good, I guess. Her husband, I assume, is the one that she turned up with in the beginning. Uh, and he's dead, though, I guess. Maybe he was turned into a zombie. We don't know. Uh, but we do know now why Alicia was entwined with this cult, sort of. And uh, we do know how she ended up in the hospital. Now that is the meat and the potatoes of this game. And it was a rather mixed bag, wasn't it? It wasn't bad. It, w it wasn't a terrible game. Um, I do think it is humongously, massively overpriced for what it is. Uh, you know, this game started off rather strong and in fact carried on pretty strong. Um, I enjoyed the environments. The story wasn't bad. It was nothing, you know, mind bending, but it was okay. It was just about enough to carry you through. Uh, a little bit better than average, I would say. The enemy designs were sort of, you know, borrowed from other games, shall we say. Especially the cultists and the, the weird little mutant guys. And the zombies, well, it's a bit unfair to say they were copied because zombies are in everything. The weapons were decent. The music, the music was superb. The environments were superb as well, actually. The amount of detail uh, in them. The, the, what let this game down for me was probably the pacing of the game. You know, it started off pretty rough with no weapons and no uh, inventory, uh, especially not having the box of um, Plutus to start off with. That, that was harsh. Uh, and... The massive lack of save discs as well. Um, item management was was not great in this game at all. Got better once you unlocked the box, but yeah, I, with this developer, I think I would be very interested to see what what they have next. Um, they seem to have the basics down. If they could just improve the quality, like visually, it was okay. We just need to have, um, they need to have another think about item management. And, um, you know, the combat was fine as well. It, it did the job. 
it wasn't great. It was a little bit laggy. Um, in regards to when you're whipping out the shotgun, you fire a shell, but then you've still got a second of, of animation before you can lower the weapon and run off. You know, little things like that where I think they could genuinely tidy it up a bit. The music was fantastic, though. Absolutely stellar. Uh, that, you know, I would say it not only had a passable soundtrack, it had a very, very good soundtrack. Uh, the final boss, well, he needs work. <laughs> I mean, this is like the medium difficulty. And, you know, I felt like I had my eyes shut. Um, I could have done that with my eyes shut, to be honest. The amount of weapons and, and materials we had. Um, but the environments, though, they were fun to explore. Too much backtracking. They could have tightened that up a little bit. And I think some of the character designs, like the Gravekeeper, or, or what was he called? The Keeper, yeah. Um, he just looked a little bit too generic. And, you know, it was only when we fought him probably the third time and we read some of the dialogues that I even twigged that he was a stalker enemy. I just thought, you know, there was three, four, five of those guys, but no, apparently he was a stalker. Um, it was nice to have a knife that was actually useful. The knife was good fun. Uh, it certainly did the job. In fact, it feels like it's probably one of the more powerful weapons of the game. I think this game could have been done, uh, could have done with being a little bit shorter, though. Cut that backtracking down, which they have done with patches. You know, they've opened up extra routes and things to that effect, which I guess has helped. I probably wouldn't have enjoyed it as much if I had played, uh, you know, the original version of the game. But, you know, this game didn't cost me anything. Uh, you know, I, I got it from a friend. Um so I guess that's colouring my opinion quite a bit. If I had paid the full, almost £40 for this game, I would be a lot more critical, I think. Um, yeah, interesting to see where this game is going to go from here. So I'm guessing the ending we're going to get next is going to be ending one, which is going to be the best ending, but that's the secret one. Uh, I am going to have to disappear and uh, redo that boss fight. And there's just some weird things like where did uh, where did Paul get that rocket launcher thing from? And what is it? Because it seems to be some sort of crystal launcher. But who who made that? I mean, see, with Umbrella, you know, they've made all these uh, powerful weapons because they are a, um, you know, powerful arms company as well as, a you know, um, bioengineering pharmaceutical pharmaceutical company. So that makes sense. And we know Umbrella also built weapons to keep their BOWs under control. But there's no way of explaining that weird magical rocket launcher, which kind of looked like a rail gun. It looked very high tech, but it fired a lump of crystal. Uh, you know, maybe I'm just thinking too much about this. Probably. Uh, and as much as I do want to have another run through this game from the start, I think if we want to unlock everything, I'm going to have to complete this game two or three more times because you do not get many souls in this game at all. I mean, we've gone through the entire game once now. And if I go to play it again, I still don't have enough money to buy what I'm assuming is the unlimited ammo pistol. And, you know, if we look at that, if I want to then unlock the unlimited ammo shotgun, which costs more, I think I'm then going to have to complete the game another two times. Yeah, that, that, this game doesn't warrant that many playthroughs, I don't think. But uh, I had my fun with it. I enjoyed playing it. It's another one under the belt. Would I recommend it? I would say yes, if you can find it on sale and you're really itching for some uh, survival horror goodness. It does scratch that itch, you know, for sure. Um, there are some extra replayability uh, options. There's a uh, like a horde mode that I've noticed that they've added. I don't remember seeing that before, but then that could have appeared because now I've completed the game. Uh, I'm not really sure. Apparently, they are still working on this game, even though it's been out for two years. 
and bringing content and patches and that kind of thing to it. Um, yeah, I would have liked to have seen more interactions with other people, like between Alicia and Paul. It would have been nice to um, get a bit more closure, I guess, on her daughter, but then maybe that's in uh, the better ending. Because I don't know what these endings um, have in store. This is the only one I've actually got so far. But I guess we're going to continue. There is one ending that I might not be able to get, but I shall see if I can hunt it down somewhere. Uh, and that is potentially going to involve replaying the whole game again. Which, yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. Um, I am on a very strict time schedule here because, you know, there is a, a another game looming on the horizon. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's right. Yep, that one, which is out in, uh, as the time of this recording, a week and a half. So maybe we'll revisit. Because I want to play this game again in, um, like, the first person mode. So I've seen my friend do it in the fixed camera angle mode. I've done it in the over the shoulder mode. But here's another thing that is that irks me. Oh, there's more. The day after. A letter to Paul. Dear Paul. How did you know I, uh, how did I know you'd come looking for me? Well, for one thing, you're a stubborn son of a bitch. And I know you had your reservations about me leaving the force. I have to admit, I wasn't totally honest with you about some things. I guess you could call this a cult. But what they preach is about real. I, but what they preach about is real. Paul. The one they call the master is legitimate. He predicted you would come out here and try and find me he predicted so much he's i don't know what he is but he showed me how you'd come here and try and find me along with a woman apparently this woman's daughter is the key to something big he thinks there's something real special about her that none of us can understand remember those murders you were obsessing over well let's just say the master has his friends in high places Leave us, you still can. Don't try and stop us. Your pal, Adrian Bennett. So, although Adrian is dead and came to a very unfortunate end, I guess he wasn't there for investigating, which explains why he had his own room and stuff. See, this is what I mean, right? They've put effort into this game. They just, they just need a little bit more, just a little bit more. Just some more polish, uh, especially when it comes to animations. It feels very PlayStation 3 era, I guess. Uh, possibly possibly PS2 era sort of animations. PlayStation 3, PlayStation 2, that sort of era. Um, so it would be nice if they were modernized. Uh, visually, obviously, we're looking at a, you know, a, a good PS4 mid-range PS4 experience, I think, but just the animations where it, this game really falters. So if we go to exit, what does that give us? And you know, this was a small indie team, so you got to expect that. Well, well, well. I guess he wasn't dead, but here's the rub. If we go to save it now, uh, cleared, Yep, we we can't load a new cleared save file and then change the, if we try it a minute. Yeah, I'm guessing I can't change the view perspective. Oh, it starts us straight here. That's curious. Possibly. That is curious. Right, so we've got the memories, got all this stuff, all this shit. Do we actually start with anything though? Yeah, 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 okay, cool. Ah, no, that that's a shame. It would have been nice if we started again and um, everything was, you know, improved or 
Because I know what they have done is uh, when you play your second round, the game is harder. But it would have been nice if you could start again with your um, max inventory from the get-go. Maybe a weapon. That would have been nice. But I guess not. Anyway, I'm going to leave this video here. When we come back, we are going to get the decent ending, the best ending. And then um, I believe we're going to easily be able to get all but three of the other endings. Uh, uh, or at least three of the other endings. Um, yeah, pretty sure one's going to be a bit of a pickle, but we'll cross that bridge. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time. <laughs>